story. It was our great pleasure back in June uh, to make our annual trip to the Jimmy Fun Clinic, and there we met our uh, new friend, Fernando Morales. He's 19. He's from Norwood, Massachusetts. Ewing sarcoma, diagnosed March of 2011. Remember that day specifically? Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How'd that go? Um, well... Does he say the C word? Does the doctor say the C word to you? Uh, yeah. Well, he says Ewing sarcoma. Same difference. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, he's like, yeah, it's a type of cancer. I don't know. We got pulled into a back room, and they're like, there were windows, but the windows back there are tainted, mm. so it was kind of sketchy. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I remember going into Boston. My you didn't have a good feeling about this, no, right? No. My yeah. parents are like, we're going to the Dana-Farber. I'm like, isn't that the cancer place? Yeah. They're, they're like, yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. What were the symptoms that led up to you getting checked out? Um, end of soccer season, um, slow as a slug. Um, <laughs> going into track season, I'm even slower. <laughs> And um, I started doing PT. I thought it was a sports injury. And then um, from there, it was just kind of like, well, it's not getting any better. You I'm had still pain. In pain. Yeah. And pain was in your leg? Yep, my knee. And then it radiated up, radiated down. And they're like, they took an x-ray of my knee. And they're like, yeah, this is weird. There's nothing there. But then a few months later, they took an x-ray of my pelvis. And they're like, oh, yeah, um, there's a tumor here. I'm like, oh. And then from there... That's when it all went down. They're like, Ewing sarcoma, tumor, treatment, 10 months. And I'm like, radiation. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, all right. Well, at least now we have an answer. Yeah. What was the What's extent of your first? treatment? What was the extent of your treatment? Um, started with radiation? Uh, no, started with chemo. Chemo, okay. Chemo. Chemo every two weeks. And then um, I was diagnosed in March. And then uh, that summer, I started radiation. I had 30 rounds from uh, August to September. What's worse, chemo or radiation? Radiation. By far? Oh, yeah. Why? Radiation's worse than chemo? Oh, yeah. If you get a lot of it, definitely. Why it, is uh, that? What happens? Uh, you get these awful, awful burns. And depending where you get it, it can be worse. Because I have friends who have had it, like, on their stomach and stuff. And they're, like, it just messes with, like, your intestines and stuff. And it's just brutal. And, like, the outside, it's, like, all gray. And, like, it's gross. And it hurts so much. And then every time you get chemo, it's like you get something called radiation recall. So it comes back, even though right. it gets a little better, it gets just as bad. What's the weird thought that you had at the, when, you got, when you went through this? Did you think, uh-oh, I can't play soccer anymore? Did you think I, you know, I'll lose my hair? What was the thought, other than you know, the, obvious, the obvious things? Tell us a strange thought you had. Um, a strange thought that I had. Well, I mean, I was looking forward to playing soccer again, right. so that never came to mind. And when it came to the hair, I remember watching the Italian job when I was little, and I'm like, I'm just going to be handsome Rob, because he had, like, <laughs> no hair. <laughs>